guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be giving you my fall apartment tour. So I just decorated for fall slash Halloween. I went with more Halloween vibes this year, but it's still very minimal. So before we get started, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I post new videos every Monday and Thursday at 7 p.m. Eastern time. So make sure you're subscribed for lots of fun videos and let's go ahead and get started. It's really a vibe when like all my candles are lit and the sun is setting, but I wanted to show you guys in like real daytime light what it looks like. But yeah, let's just go ahead and get started. So I'm just gonna start, this is the front door and I'm just gonna work my way around. Like I said, I don't have very much stuff, but just enough to make it a different vibe. So let's get started. Okay, so here's just kind of like an overview of when you first walk in the front door. And then I'll go like section by section and kind of show you everything. So we'll start over here at the entry table. And here is what it looks like. I love this area. It's been pretty much the same since we moved in, but I really finished everything off last year and I just love it. So over here we have this little pumpkin. This is from Target dollar section a couple years ago. Um, and I love it. It's just a nice, simple white pumpkin. I think it looks really cute over here. And also, I feel like these candles give like a very nice fall vibe. In my opinion, fall decor doesn't have to be like black and orange and like pumpkin-y. It can just mean cozier. So that's kind of what I did. I just made the space overall more moody and like more cozy. So that's what fall decor means to me just saying so anyways i feel like these kind of candles really give it like a nice cozy vibe and i just love it and i thought that was just a cute little touch as well even though i have that stuff there all year round i feel like it kind of goes with the cozy fall vibe so that is my little front entry area i think it's so cute i literally love this area even though it's kind of pointless let's be honest but it's just cute to look at okay let's move on so over here is the kitchen, and like I said, I don't really have much going on anywhere, but I just love when you first walk in the door. This is kind of the first thing you see. I love keeping fresh flowers during fall time especially. I think it just really warms everything up. It's just a really pretty look. I try to get more like yellows and oranges when I can find them, so I kind of made this bouquet myself just at the grocery store, and I think it turned out really cute. Nice fall vibe, so. That's the theme, obviously. And then I have these two little candles from Michael's that I've had for a while, but again, we're going with cozy vibes. This candelabra was actually blue and it was from TJ Maxx. I have one in my office that's still that blue color that I'll show you a picture of, but I just actually spray painted this black and I think it looks so cute. I actually wanted to tie in more black accents anyways, since I feel like this has always been kind of random, like having the black table there because all of our stuff was like really light and airy. And then we just had like a black table over here and black stools. So I kind of thought it tied everything together a little bit better. And I'm actually probably gonna keep it out because I think it looks so cute. And then lastly for this area, this pumpkin was from the Target this year in the dollar section. I'm pretty sure, yeah, $3. And I think it's adorable. And I just love it. I love that like, it just looks all like it goes together, It's but it's not matchy-matchy. I think it's just really super cute. So that is this area. And I, can, I guess I'll just go ahead and show you the kitchen because like I said, there's not much going on. Let me turn the light on. Oh, wrong light. So yeah, here's overview of our kitchen. I love our kitchen so much. It's like one of my favorite areas. And I don't have much, again, cozy vibes. I actually just put this together. I was playing with like a few pumpkins over here, but I thought this looked really cute. I love the lavender and I think it just looks really cute. And I love drinking tea in the fall time. Just, it's so warm and cozy. And then over here, I have a couple of pumpkins, pretty much the extent of it. This one is from TJ Maxx. It's like a really pretty glass marble pumpkin. So I've had that one for a couple years. And then over here is this like little pumpkin jar and I keep tea in it. Cause like I said, I love my tea. 
and this one is one of my favorites. It's the chamomile vanilla manuka honey from Puka. And yeah, I just think it's a cute little place to put them. And I love that pumpkins, like they don't have to just go for Halloween. Like I can have that throughout Thanksgiving and everything just cause it's more of like fall instead of like specifically Halloween. So it's really nice. And so yeah, here's the view from the kitchen of our living room area. I think it's so cozy. I like love waking up and just coming to the kitchen and just looking at this. Like it's just so soothing to me, especially when it's still kind of dark out. Let's start with the couch because I did just get new pillows and I love them. Again, we're going cozy vibes. I actually didn't have, I had like two really boho pillows on the couch and they just like were very summery to me, very, I don't know. They were really cute, but I was ready for a change. And like I said, I wanted to tie in the black, which I think it just goes together so well. Don't mind the dog hair on these pillows, but this is like a corduroy. See, like it's so, if you get up close, you can really see the dog hair, but it's like a suede corduroy material and it's so soft. And then I have these, they're like um, shearling material and I just think they're really cozy and so soft and comfy. Sadie, our bulldog loves these. And these were both from Amazon. I just bought like the inserts for them and these are just like the covers. So I really like those. I had this black blanket here. Um, I've had this blanket forever. It's just from TJ Maxx. It's like a throw blanket, but I think it looks nice right there. And it's just like a cute little vibe. So that's the couch. I have this area too. This basket is from Target. And then so is that pumpkin. This is from seriously like when Brad and I first moved in together. And I was like making his house really girly. And it was fall. And I went and got this pumpkin and like put it on his coffee table. And he was like, what is that? And I've had it ever since. But I will link one that's similar. I just think it's so cute and like very unique almost. I don't know. It just goes with the vibe. So that's why it's there. And then I had this little incense holder, incense holder, excuse me. And my friend got it for me from Five Below. And I thought it just looked cute right there. The smoke is kind of like spooky. I don't know. And then lastly, this is the final area that has anything decorated. And it is my favorite in the whole house. I'll just give you like an overview. It came together so nicely. I played with this for hours and this is what I came up with. Okay, that's dramatic. Literally not hours, maybe like 30 minutes, but I played with it for a long time and I think it turned out really cute. So I'll just kind of go through everything and tell you where everything is from. Starting off over here, this pompous grass. I have been looking for good pompous grass that's not like $70 because in my opinion, paying that much for grass is so dumb. And I found this bunch on Amazon for $15, which was such a steal. And then this vase, I actually, it's from Goodwill. It was bright pink and I spray painted it black, kind of like the candelabras. And I think it turned out so cute. That will be staying here year round now since I am doing more of like black. Um, so that I'm so happy with how it turned out. This pumpkin is from Target this year. This is Studio McGee, I want to say. Yeah, and it's this one, or no, excuse me, Threshold. And it was $10. And I just like that it's not like bright orange. It's a little more toned down. So that's really nice. This is from Target. It's not, that's always here. And then I have a couple crystals. This one I just, I bought, this is one of my favorites. This one's Honey Calcite and I thought it went with the colors and the vibe and it's just really cute. So I put that there, got some clear quartz, can't go wrong. So it's really cute. And then I found this candle at five below and how cute is it? I thought it was very like witch vibes and I just think it's adorable. I'm usually, I have it lit for the video, but I think I'm not gonna light it until like the full moon actually. But I just thought it was really cute for the little moody vibes we have going on. And it smells so good. It's amber wood scented. And I just think it's really cute and it was $5 at five below. So that's the first little section. Probably my favorite. I think it's so, so cute. So adorable. And then over here, I just have another one of those um, candelabras from TJ Maxx. And then another one of these. This one is a taller version of the one that's over there. 
And again, it's just like a nice vibe, very cozy. And then this, my friend actually found this in her woods at her house and gave it to me. So thank you, Amber. I think it's so cute and I use it as decor and it's always there, but I think it looks so cute with the other crystals there. So really cute. And then down here, my, my phone is like not focusing. Okay, so down here we have another pumpkin. This one is Target this year as well. It's like a shorter, more stout version of that one over there. And again, I like that it's not super orange. It's more peachy and it was $3. So that's really nice. I have it like on this KKW fragrance box. I like that just to like add some depth and everything. It looks really cute. And then just some more books. Those are always there. That's always there. But again, kind of with the vibe. I added another black book that used to be on my console table, and I think it kind of balances out the space. That's just like what you really have to play with is like colors, like balancing those out and like tying things in together without looking too matchy. So that's kind of what I was playing with over here. And then one last pumpkin, and it is the same as that one, just like a tiny mini version. And this one was $5. So really cute and just kind of simple like i just didn't want to overdo it and i feel like it's really balanced and really cute and i can't wait for you guys to see it at nighttime because it's literally like i love just sitting here and watching a movie i watched hocus pocus out here i watched halloween town practical magic it's just like giving those vibes and i think it's so cute all right guys that is it for my fall apartment tour I really hope you enjoyed it. Everything I talked about will be linked down below for you. And that is it. So I will see you guys next time. Bye.